To begin this process, we're going to first heat up the nozzle. This is necessary in order to remove and insert the filament. We'll click in to access our main menu. We'll scroll down using the dial to temperature, click in. Here you have control over anything that relates to temperature on your machine. We're just gonna change the nozzle temperature for now. So you're gonna scroll over to nozzle, push in. Now for PLA, which is the filament type that we're going to use, and we'll go over more filament later, where we have to go over all the way up to 230 degrees. So we can keep rotating our dial over here, and we will keep going. Sometimes it jumps around a little bit. We just have to find the right temperature. Anything between 205 and 230 degrees will work, but 230 is the best temperature that I have found because it's easier for you to tell if it's going to go in correctly. So let me click in to accept the temperature. Scroll back up to main. Scroll back up to the info screen. And now we can see in our top left-hand corner that the new target temperature is 230 degrees. And right now it's at 28 and climbing. So now that we're up to temperature, we can remove the filament that is right in there right now. We're going to start by removing the filament filter, which is right here. And we can, you can see better on the top view right now. Uh, it opens this little clasp right here. And you might or might not have one of these. I suggest printing one if you can. We're gonna remove that. Now, how the TAS-6, um, this extruder nozzle actually works to remove filament is you lift this bar over here. You lift it up and out. And then this thing will have a slight give and you can uh, pull this yellow-ish, greenish piece. It might be a different color on your printer. You're gonna pull away from that assembly. And so now we have this thing out here and this thing out here. And then we're going to grip this with both our fingers and we're going to pull carefully out and out comes the filament. This, uh, this little string here always, I get so angry at it every time, but you just, have to, you just kinda gotta pull it and it'll eventually come out, it's like a big web. And then, um, and then now we have our filament pulled out and we can put that to the side and then we're going to start loading filament. Over here by our filament spool on its rack over here we're going to roll it like so and it's going to retract this black filament outside the tube just like this. So we're going to keep rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. Everything's fine. I'm glad it was my phone. Uh, and then you just pull this. We're going to keep hold of that end and we're going to use our snips, which I conveniently left over here. And we're going to snip off this stringy bit over here, just at an angle. That way the next, the next person that uses it doesn't have to deal with that. And then we have now that angle right there. So then we're just gonna feed it through this hole right here. If you're opening your TAS6 for the first time, there's just there's no roll. It's just a piece of film that comes out the top of the extruder. And basically you do the same process, you just don't have to pull it through the tube. Um, now we're going to grab our next filament, which we're going to be entering, which is this PLA right here. And we are going to pull it out of its tube. And conveniently, someone has already snipped it for me. Well, that's very nice now. So we're going to place it where the filament is coming off of the bottom, and then we're going to put it, it back in through the tube back here, and then we're going to feed it through. It's gonna be very squeaky, but you're just gonna keep feeding it through, and eventually it's gonna come out the other side of that tube. And I'll bring it over so you guys can see. And we're we want to expose a couple inches, like maybe two and a half inches to three inches of the filament, and then we're going to bring it over here, this tube is sometimes a little too long, but when it's back down on the, on the plate, you'll understand later. Okay, you've successfully changed the first of your phone on your top six. Congratulations. Now, to start your first print, we're going to go over to the Kira. That'll be the next video, and I hope you've enjoyed this one.